Hey boys, welcome back to some more Tigers Korea. It is round 13. Yeah, we had a we had a buy last start. Well, the Tigers did. We obviously have been just back from Origin, where the Blues got up, unfortunately. Uh, but I mean, I guess it's good news for for the Tigers. <laughs> the boys coming back from the Blues camp are going to be in full full form. They're going to be in com uh, confident mood. As uh, taking on the Titans here, who are good, they're, <laughs> they're actually really good on this game. I, I talked about it last time we versed them, but yeah, I, I still have fond memories of our Titans career mode on this game. Josh Hoffman is on the bench. He's probably the best player on this game. <laughs> um, I mean, he's probably not the best, like Greg Inglis is probably, he's probably the best, um, with a couple others who are like that level, but Josh Hoffman is incredibly good who, you know, I like Hoffman as a player. I think he's very, very good. I think he's pretty underrated at the Eels, honestly. I was sad to see him go as uh, we're going to score very, very easily here. Kevin Aguama, he's had an absolute brilliant couple of weeks. He's been in some try-scoring form, that's for sure, as uh, Tim Simone, their beautiful footwork. But, uh, yeah, I always liked Hoffman. He was always one of my favorite players back in the Broncos days. And then... Um, I mean, he was good for the Titans, but uh, again, like, they didn't give him too much. I feel like they underused him there as well as right here. It's going to be a try to burn, just a silly offload. Um, but yeah, I felt like he was a bit underused at the Titans as well. And then the Eels now, he's just sort of on the outer. Like he, he was an international fullback for the for the New Zealand side. He, he was a very good player, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really know. I mean. You know, sometimes it's tough for guys like that if they don't sort of cement their spot in the one team. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of competition for outside backs, I guess, in a lot of teams. As right here, Lee is gonna just burst through. Uh, it was a nice play from us, a nice little chip back on the inside, but just he beat a couple of defenders and Lever Lee. He's gonna he's gonna score. Um, <laughs> Lever Lee, dude, I. I don't know if he actually played any NRL, but he might have. He might have actually played a couple of games. But I remember in Queensland Cup, I think it was freaking Matt Thompson who eventually started commentating the NRL, which just pissed me off. But he was like the commentator in Queensland Cup, obviously. And I don't know if it was him. It might have been the other guy. I can't remember who, but they freaking loved Lever Lee. I think it was mainly the name, but. He was really not very good. <laughs> he was so... They wouldn't shut up about him as well. Oh, no. Greg Bird. He's got to score his second try, and he cannot believe it. Off the upright. <laughs> he's going to score. Oh, no. Absolute sham. Absolutely shambolic here. As, uh, it's going to be... Tyrone Roberts there kicking the goal. Obviously, back at the club in 2019... And the Titans, I mean, they've been going pretty shocking. As right here was Terra Tedesco. He's back from origin. He's just a little sluggish. The whole team's a little bit sluggish, I feel, at the minute. Though, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, right. <laughs> you wouldn't read about it. You wouldn't dream about it. Ryan James is going to score their fourth try the second in a row off the crossbar, not the crossbar, the upright, I just, what what do we even say at this point, as uh, we're going to attack off the kick return, Kevin Aguama again tackled there by, um, is it Kevin Gordon, is Kevin Gordon at the club, jeez, I love that, man, I, I miss a, I feel like the Titans team this year, I was going to talk about the Titans a little bit, but uh, I feel like their team is good this year, um, they're obviously not playing that well, but I think they can come good. I don't think they're gonna make the top eight at this point, but I feel like they're gonna they're gonna hit some form as a uh, good play here, getting it to Nagama. He's gonna be tackled by Lever Lee, but oh man, I miss <laughs> I miss the old days of the times, dude. With um, Kevin Gordon, David Mead on the wings, absolute speedsters. Kevin Gordon's still one of my favorite players. Um, he was, oh man, again, like, injuries just, like, ruin, ruin players' careers, dude. Kevin Gordon was such a good player, but, um, I can't, I think it was a knee, 
I think it was mainly a knee injury, I think, that sort of screwed him up. And then I, um, during like the off season, he was like sort of bulking up a bit. I mean, he couldn't really do any running. So he sort of he started bulking up, doing the, <laughs> doing the weights. And he came back and he just, he was still like a solo player when he came back, but he'd lost a lot of that just incredible speed he used to have as like a, like a small play. He was very, very small back in his, back in his prime. He would have been, he would have, like he barely would have been 80 kilos, surely. He was extremely small. Um, not, not like built. He wasn't built at all as a couple of sloppy offloads, but Matty Ballon is going to end up with it, getting it on to Mitchell Moses. And Moses is going to go for the try line and he is going to score, I think. Yes, he does. Puts it down. So, a bit of a fight back here from the boys. Starting to pull their heads out. So, yeah, three tries back to back. To back. Um, yeah, Kevin Gordon, he, just, he never really recovered from that. And then sort of, yeah, just sort of faded away, unfortunately. Still still one of my favorite players. But, yeah, him, Go uh, him and Mead on the wings. Uh, who was the fullback back then? Jeez, I can't even remember. Um, but yeah, like, even, like, back, like, when they first came in, like, Matty Rogers, Scotty Prince at the club, um, they had, like, a really, like, when they first came into the, the comp, like, that was probably their best chances. Nene McDonald also was at the club. Um, bit of a blue letting McDonald, uh, McDonald go, but, um, you know, the money's hard to sort of keep everyone, I guess. Unfortunately, that's going to probably be the end of our little fight back. Um, actually, no, we we pegged level. I didn't even realize what we were level. I've just been rambling on. I'm not even really paying attention. Oh, that was a big try to McDonald, as uh, it's going to be Zeb Taya, also former player. Even like, yeah, like Nathan, no. Oh, what was his name? Matt Sharma. Right here, oh no, this is terrible. Tedesco's had an absolute shocker at the back. It hit his like leg, I think, and it's going to go in touch in goal. But uh, yeah, Matty Sharma, he was a very good dummy half. They had Kieran, Kieran Mosley was a bit later, but yeah, back in the day, dude, they had like such a good, um, a good team. And like I was going to say, probably the first couple of years they were in the comp, that was probably like their best chance. <laughs> That was like their best chance to actually win the comp as uh, Anthony Don is going to score the match winner for sure right there. 36 to 24. Oh boy. We probably should have won this game, but we've just let it go badly. Um, but yeah, they, they, um, it's probably like, it's the best they finished as well. And it shows, but yeah, they've, um, I haven't really found that again since a lot of those players retired. So, yeah, unfortunate. But there we go. They beat us quite comfortably here. Very poor play. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.